Recycling involves breaking things down into their original raw material form in order to make new products. For example, recycling aluminum cans requires them to be cleaned, melted down, and processed. This kind of operation can be costly and usually results in some kind of greenhouse gas emission. In the mid-1990s, a German businessman coined the term upcycling. Instead of breaking things down into their base materials, they're turned directly into new objects. Let's take a look at a Japanese nonprofit organization focused on this kind of work. The group is called NEWSED, the perfect combination of new and used. Taking old things and materials and looking at them in a different light to turn them into objects with added value. This is the philosophy behind upcycling. This young man is carefully folding old English newspapers that were donated by libraries and universities. What is he going to turn them into? The finished products are bags. Each of them is made by hand and makes clever use of the various patterns and colors of the newspapers. The material is reinforced with an interlining, making the bag sturdy enough to carry a load of about two kilograms. These bags are one of the many upcycled creations of News Project, a non-profit organization. まあ、あの商品企画に関してはあのデザインのディレクションをしていただいているデザイナーたちと一緒にまあこんな廃材が集まったっていうまあ会議のようなミーティングをしますでそこでまあ皆さんそれぞれ持ち帰ってもらってじゃあこの廃材にはこのデザイナーがいいんじゃないかとかこういうものからこんなものが作れたら面白いんじゃないかっていうそのアイデアをですねあの各デザイナーたちから抽出してまあ一番生産性が良かったりとか。売れそうだなって判断したものを一つ一つ商品化していくっていうまあそういう商品化のプロセスを生んでますね。The name news is a combination of the words new and used. Their products are sold in museum shops and multi-brand stores all over the country. More than 80% of the brand's products are manufactured here at Hana. A work center for the disabled. It is a community workshop where people with disabilities come to work and learn new skills. まあ、障害地域にお住まいになっている障害のある方がまあ将来の一般企業への就職ですとか。まあ、こういう場所にこう通うことでこう生活のリズムであったりだとかまあご自身の体調管理であったりとかをあのするためにあの昼間の時間帯うちに通われてまあいろんなえお仕事をしたりだとかまあ就職に向けられる方についてはそういった訓練を積む場所になっています。It is made of the remnants from tent canvas that is used for things like the roofs of dome-shaped baseball stadiums. The material is said to be durable enough to last for a hundred years, and of course, it is waterproof. The pieces around the eyelets are made of scraps of colorful leather. Named Heavy File, these envelopes are also popular as cases for tablet PCs and are one of the brand's hit products. まあ、僕たちがやってるこのニューズ像の在り方っていうのはその廃材とか端材をまあゴミとか廃材っていうふうに捉えずに素材として捉えてるところなんですねなのであのもちろん素晴らしいものになるのはもちろんのことなんですけれども昔何々だったとかその素材が昔持ってたストーリーを商品にどれだけきちんと入れることができるかなっていうところにあの僕たちの意識は向けるようにしてますね。A good example of this way of thinking would be these bow ties that were made from old seat belts. あの生地自体がとっても高級感があって、実際にあの生地の原価もすごい高いものなんですよ。で、まあ洗うとすごく汚れも簡単に落ちますし、で、あれってあの綺麗なものなので生地自体が。あの
身に付ける装飾品にしたらいいんじゃないかっていうところの発想ですねでまあ今までは身を守ってたものは今度は自分たちを着飾るものに転換するみたいなそういうストーリーで膨大にしたっていうストーリーがあります These items were made using scraps of acrylic panels used for store fixtures and signs. As the acrylic is usually custom made for each store, the pieces come in a multitude of colors and shapes. They can be mixed and matched to create one of a kind pin back buttons and earrings in a colorful pop style. They are often featured in fashion magazines. まあ、毎月こんな灰皿があるけれどもニューズ像で使わないかとかまあこういうものが余ってて困ってるけれどもあのいい使い道はないかとかまあそういうオファーがあるのでまあそこに一軒一軒見に行ってうちはどういうふうに使えるかなっていうあの検証からスタートさせてます。ニューズ、now boasts a lineup of 25 different items, which should reach 30 within the summer of 2013. And lately, many companies have come to know of the MPO's existence and have been asking News if they could upcycle their waste material to produce original novelty goods for them. News may look like a small local organization, but don't be fooled. Their products are currently sold in over 80 shops nationwide, including 38 right here in Tokyo. Of course, the upcycling movement isn't limited to Japan. A quick look at a major international online seller shows 177 hits for upcycled goods. And that was only in the clothing and accessories category.